Hey, what's up guys? In DaVinci Resolve, when we bring clips from the media pool to the timeline, by default, link selection is turned on. And what that means is that we can move the audio part and the video part of a clip at the same time. And we can also resize them at the same times as well. And when we turn off link selection, what you will notice is that this behavior is no longer going to be present. Now we can resize uh, the audio and the video part of a clip independently doing split edit. And we can also move them around independently as well. But one thing you will notice is that when we do this, in this case, the system is telling us that the clip is actually out of sync. And this brings us to our next topic, link clip. The audio and the video part of a clip are inherently connected to each other, whether link selection is turned on or turned off. And you can disable this behavior by right clicking a clip and then in the menu, select link clips. This will break up the linking between audio and video. Now what you will notice is that you can move the audio and the video independently and you can also resize them independently as well. And once again, regardless the status of link selection. Another thing you can do with link clips is that if let's say right now we break up the linking uh, for multiple clips, now you can rearrange the audio as well as the video part of a clip and this new arrangement, you can right click and in the menu select link clips. Now these new arrangements will be treated as a single clip and you can move them around, you can resize them uh, all at the same time. Now things also get interesting when we try to select multiple clips. So let's go ahead and right now select uh, these two clips. And then in the menu, you're gonna notice that link clips is no longer going to be turned on by default. So now if we select it, this will actually link uh, these two clips as a single clip. They will be treated as a single clip and we can move them around or resize them. Now, if we uh, right click in the menu and deselect link clips, what this will do is to break up the linking for all the clips that are involved in this. And if we select all these clips and then right click in the menu, select link clips again, what this will do is to bring all these clips back as an individual clip. So if your goal is to bring back the linking for each individual clip, then what you have to do is to select each clip individually and then in the menu, select link clips. This will allow both clips to go back to their original status. Now you may be wondering at this point, why do we choose one over the other? Well, while link selection and link clips are very similar, linked selection is applied to every single clip in the timeline. It is applied to the entire timeline at once. So if we turn it off, now this change is going to affect every clip in this timeline. While link clips is applied on a clip by clip basis. And also with link clips, we have the ability to set multiple clips up as an individual clip. And this can be particularly helpful if you have a sequence where you want the video and audio linked at all times. And we also have the ability to set up new content by swap out either the video or the audio part of a clip and then relink them as an individual clip. Okay, guys, this is pretty much it for this video. I hope this helps and uh, I will see you next time.